Serotonin or 5-hydroxytryptamine 5 5-HT is a monoamine neurotransmitter. It has a popular image as a contributor to feelings of well-being and happiness, though its actual biological function is complex and multifaceted, modulating cognition, reward, learning, memory, and numerous physiological processes. Biochemically, the indoleamine molecule derives from the amino acid tryptophan via the rate-limiting hydroxylation of the 5 position on the ring, forming the intermediate 5-hydroxytryptophan, and then decarboxylation to produce serotonin. Serotonin is primarily found in the enteric nervous system located in the gastrointestinal tract, GI tract. However, it is also produced in the central nervous system CNS, specifically in the RAF nuclei located in the brainstem. Additionally, serotonin is stored in blood platelets and is released during agitation and vasoconstriction, where it then acts as an agonist to other platelets. Approximately 90% of the human body's total serotonin is located in the enterochromaffin cells in the GI tract, where it regulates intestinal movements. The serotonin is secreted luminally and basolaterally, which leads to increased serotonin uptake by circulating platelets and activation after stimulation, which gives increased stimulation of myenteric neurons and gastrointestinal motility. The remainder is synthesized in serotonergic neurons of the CNS, where it has various functions. These include the regulation of mood, appetite, and sleep. Serotonin also has some cognitive functions, including memory and learning. Several classes of antidepressants, such as the SSRIs and the SNRIs among others, interfere with the normal reabsorption of serotonin after it's done with the transmission of the signal, therefore augmenting the neurotransmitter levels in the synapses. Serotonin secreted from the enterochromaffin cells eventually finds its way out of tissues into the blood. There, it is actively taken up by blood platelets, which store it. When the platelets bind to a clot, they release serotonin, where it can serve as a vasoconstrictor or a vasodilator while regulating hemostasis and blood clotting. In high concentrations, serotonin acts as a vasoconstrictor by contracting endothelial smooth muscle directly or by potentiating the effects of other vasoconstrictors, e.g., angiotensin II, norepinephrine. The vasoconstrictive property is mostly seen in pathologic states affecting the endothelium, such as atherosclerosis or chronic hypertension. In physiologic states, vasodilation occurs through the serotonin-mediated release of nitric oxide from endothelial cells. Additionally, it inhibits the release of norepinephrine from adrenergic nerves. Serotonin is also a growth factor for some types of cells, which may give it a role in wound healing. There are various serotonin receptors. Serotonin is metabolized mainly to 5-HIAA, chiefly by the liver. Metabolism involves first oxidation by monoamine oxidase to the corresponding aldehyde. There follows oxidation by aldehyde dehydrogenase to 5-HIAA, the indole acetic acid derivative. The latter is then excreted by the kidneys. Besides mammals, serotonin is found in all bilateral animals including worms and insects, as well as in fungi and in plants. Serotonin's presence in insect venoms and plant spines serves to cause pain, which is a side effect of serotonin injection. Serotonin is produced by pathogenic amoebae, and its effect in the human gut is diarrhea. Its widespread presence in many seeds and fruits may serve to stimulate the digestive tract into expelling the seeds. Serotonin is also present in plants as phytoserotonin. Topic: <laughs> Perception of resource availability. Serotonin mediates the animal's perceptions of resources. In less complex animals, such as some invertebrates, resources simply mean food availability. In plants, serotonin synthesis seems to be associated with stress signals. In more complex animals, such as arthropods and vertebrates, resources also can mean social dominance. In response to the perceived abundance or scarcity of resources, an animal's growth, reproduction, or mood may be elevated or lowered. This may somewhat depend on how much serotonin the organism has at its disposal. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Cellular effects. 
In humans, serotonin is a neurotransmitter used throughout the body having action of 14 variants of the serotonin receptor to have diverse effects on mood, anxiety, sleep, appetite, temperature, eating behavior, sexual behavior, movements and gastrointestinal motility. Serotonin is not administered clinically as a drug itself as it is not specific enough. However, drugs that selectively target specific serotonin receptor subtypes are used therapeutically for antidepressant effects. These are called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They are dependent on serotonin availability in the synapse. Topic: Receptors. The 5-HT receptors, the receptors for serotonin, are located on the cell membrane of nerve cells and other cell types in animals, and mediate the effects of serotonin as the endogenous ligand and of a broad range of pharmaceutical and hallucinogenic drugs. Except for the 5-HT3 receptor, a ligand-gated ion channel, all other 5-HT receptors are G-protein coupled receptors also called 7-transmembrane, or heptahelical receptors that activate an intracellular second messenger cascade. Topic. Termination Serotonergic action is terminated primarily via uptake of 5-HT from the synapse. This is accomplished through the specific monoamine transporter for 5-HT -ERT, on the presynaptic neuron. Various agents can inhibit 5-HT reuptake, including cocaine, dextromethorphan, and antitussive, tricyclic antidepressants and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs. A 2006 study conducted by the University of Washington suggested that a newly discovered monoamine transporter known as PMAT may account for a significant percentage of 5-HT clearance. Contrasting with the high affinity SERT, the PMAT has been identified as a low affinity transporter with an apparent KM of 114 micromoles, L for serotonin, approximately 230 times higher than that of SERT. However, the PMAT, despite its relatively low serotonergic affinity, has a considerably higher transport capacity than SERT, resulting in roughly comparable uptake efficiencies to SERT in heterologous expression systems. The study also suggests some SSRIs, such as fluoxetine and sertraline antidepressants, inhibit PMAT but at IC50 values which surpass the therapeutic plasma concentrations by up to four orders of magnitude. Therefore, SSRI monotherapy is ineffective in PMAT inhibition. At present, no known pharmaceuticals are known to appreciably inhibit PMAT at normal therapeutic doses. The PMAT also suggestively transports dopamine and norepinephrine, albeit at KM values even higher than that of 5-HT Serotonilation <inaudible> 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 Serotonin can also signal through a nonreceptor mechanism called serotonilation, in which serotonin modifies proteins. This process underlies serotonin's effects upon platelet-forming cells thrombocytes in which it links to the modification of signaling enzymes called GTPASEs that then trigger the release of vesicle contents by exocytosis. A similar process underlies the pancreatic release of insulin. The effects of serotonin upon vascular smooth muscle tone, this is the biological function from which serotonin originally got its name, depend upon the serotonilation of proteins involved in the contractile apparatus of muscle cells. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Nervous system. The neurons of the RAF nuclei are the principal source of 5-HT release in the brain. There are nine RAF nuclei designated B1, B9, which contain the majority of serotonin-containing neurons. Some scientists chose to group the nuclei RAF as linears into one nucleus, all of which are located along the midline of the brainstem, and centered on the reticular formation. Axons from the neurons of the RAF nuclei form a neurotransmitter system reaching almost every part of the central nervous system. Axons of neurons in the lower RAF nuclei terminate in the cerebellum and spinal cord, while the axons of the higher nuclei spread out in the entire brain.
Topic: <laughs> Ultrastructure and function. The serotonin nuclei may also be divided into two main groups, the rostral and caudal containing three and four nuclei respectively. The rostral group consists of the caudal linear nuclei B8, the dorsal RAF nuclei B6 and B7, and the median RAF nuclei B5, B8 and B9, that project into multiple cortical and subcortical structures. The caudal group consists of the nucleus RAF magnus B3, RAF obscurus nucleus B2, RAF pallidus nucleus B1, and lateral medullary reticular formation, that project into the brainstem, serotonergic pathway are involved in sensory motor function, with pathways projecting both into cortical, dorsal and median RAF nuclei, subcortical, and spinal areas involved in motor activity. Pharmacological manipulation suggests that serotonergic activity increases with motor activity, while firing rates of serotonergic neurons increase with intense visual stimuli. The descending projections form a pathway that inhibits pain called the descending inhibitory pathway that may be relevant to disorder such as fibromyalgia, migraine and other pain disorders, and the efficacy of antidepressants in them. Serotonergic projections from the caudal nuclei are involved in regulating mood, emotion and hypo or hyperserotonergic states may be involved in depression and sickness behavior. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Microanatomy Serotonin is released into the synapse, or space between neurons, and diffuses over a relatively wide gap greater than 20 nanometers, to activate 5-HT receptor S located on the dendrites, cell bodies and presynaptic terminals of adjacent neurons. When humans smell food, dopamine is released to increase the appetite. But, unlike in worms, serotonin does not increase anticipatory behavior in humans, instead, the serotonin released while consuming activates 5-HT2C receptors on dopamine-producing cells. This halts their dopamine release, and thereby serotonin decreases appetite. Drugs that block 5-HT2C receptors make the body unable to recognize when it is no longer hungry or otherwise in need of nutrients, and are associated with weight gain, especially in people with a low number of receptors. The expression of 5-HT2C receptors in the hippocampus follows a diurnal rhythm, just as the serotonin release in the ventromedial nucleus, which is characterized by a peak at morning when the motivation to eat is strongest. In macaques, alpha males have twice the level of serotonin released in the brain than subordinate males and females, as measured by the levels of 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid 5-HIAA in the cerebrospinal fluid. Dominance status and cerebroserotonin levels appear to be positively correlated. When dominant males were removed from such groups, subordinate males begin competing for dominance. Once new dominance hierarchies were established, serotonin levels of the new dominant individuals also increased to double those in subordinate males and females. The reason why serotonin levels are only high in dominant males but not dominant females has not yet been established. In humans, levels of 5-HT1A receptor activation in the brain show negative correlation with aggression, and a mutation in the gene that codes for the 5-HT2A receptor may double the risk of suicide for those with that genotype. Serotonin in the brain is not usually degraded after use, but is collected by serotonergic neurons by serotonin transporters on their cell surfaces. Studies have revealed nearly 10% of total variance in anxiety-related personality depends on variations in the description of where, when and how many serotonin transporters the neurons should deploy. Topic: Psychological influences. Serotonin has been implicated in cognition, mood, anxiety and psychosis, but strong clarity has not been achieved. Topic: Outside the nervous system. Topic: In the digestive tract, emetic Serotonin-regulated gastrointestinal function, the gut is surrounded by enterochromaffin cells, which release serotonin in response to food in the lumen. This makes the gut contract around the food. Platelets in the veins draining the gut collect excess serotonin. 
There are often serotonin abnormalities in gastrointestinal disorders like constipation and irritable bowel syndrome. If irritants are present in the food, the enterochromaffin cells release more serotonin to make the gut move faster, i.e., to cause diarrhea, so the gut is emptied of the noxious substance. If serotonin is released in the blood faster than the platelets can absorb it, the level of free serotonin in the blood is increased. This activates 5-HT3 receptors in the chemoreceptor trigger zone that stimulate vomiting. Thus, drugs and toxins stimulate serotonin release from enterochromaffin cells in the gut wall. The enterochromaffin cells not only react to bad food but are also very sensitive to irradiation and cancer chemotherapy. Drugs that block 5-HT3 are very effective in controlling the nausea and vomiting produced by cancer treatment, and are considered the gold standard for this purpose. Topic. Bone metabolism In mice and humans, alterations in serotonin levels and signaling have been shown to regulate bone mass. Mice that lack brain serotonin have osteopenia, while mice that lack gut serotonin have high bone density. In humans, increased blood serotonin levels have been shown to be significant negative predictor of low bone density. Serotonin can also be synthesized, albeit at very low levels, in the bone cells. It mediates its actions on bone cells using three different receptors. Through 5-HT1B receptors, it negatively regulates bone mass, while it does so positively through 5-HT2B receptors and 5-HT2C receptors. There is very delicate balance between physiological role of gut serotonin and its pathology. Increase in the extracellular content of serotonin results in a complex relay of signals in the osteoblasts culminating in FOXO1, CREB and ATF4-dependent transcriptional events. These studies have opened a new area of research in bone metabolism that can be potentially harnessed to treat bone mass disorders. <laughs> <laughs> Organ development Since serotonin signals resource availability it is not surprising that it affects organ development. Many human and animal studies have shown that nutrition in early life can influence, in adulthood, such things as body fatness, blood lipids, blood pressure, atherosclerosis, behavior, learning and longevity. Rodent experiment shows that neonatal exposure to SSRIs makes persistent changes in the serotonergic transmission of the brain resulting in behavioral changes, which are reversed by treatment with antidepressants. By treating normal and knockout mice lacking the serotonin transporter with fluoxetine scientists showed that normal emotional reactions in adulthood, like a short latency to escape foot shocks and inclination to explore new environments were dependent on active serotonin transporters during the neonatal period. Human serotonin can also act as a growth factor directly. Liver damage increases cellular expression of 5-HT2A and 5-HT2B receptors, mediating liver compensatory regrowth see liver section regeneration and transplantation serotonin present in the blood then stimulates cellular growth to repair liver damage. 5-HT2B receptors also activate osteocytes, which build up bone however, serotonin also inhibits osteoblasts, through 5-HT1B receptors. Topic. Cardiovascular growth factor Serotonin, in addition, evokes endothelial nitric oxide synthase activation and stimulates, through a 5-HT1B receptor-mediated mechanism, the phosphorylation of P44, P42 mitogen-activated protein kinase activation in bovine aortic endothelial cell cultures. In blood, serotonin is collected from plasma by platelets, which store it. It is thus active wherever platelets bind in damaged tissue, as a vasoconstrictor to stop bleeding, and also as a fibrocyte mitotic growth factor, to aid healing. Topic. Pharmacology Several classes of drugs target the 5-HT system, including some antidepressants, antipsychotics, anxiolytics, antiemetics, and antimigraine drugs, as well as the psychedelic drugs and empathogens. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mechanism of action. 
Serotonin is stored in vesicle in the presynaptic neuron. When stimulated by nerve impulses, serotonin is released as a neurotransmitter into the synapse. It reversibly binds to the postsynaptic receptor to induce a nerve impulse on the postsynaptic neuron. Serotonin can also bind to autoreceptors on the presynaptic neuron to regulate the synthesis and release of serotonin. Normally serotonin is taken back into the presynaptic neuron to stop its action, it is then reused or broken down by monoamine oxidase. Psychedelic drugs The serotonergic psychedelic drugs psilocin, psilocybin, DMT, mescaline, psychedelic mushroom and LSD are agonists, primarily at 5-HT2A, 2C receptors. The empathogen intactogen MDMA releases serotonin from synaptic vesicles of neurons. <laughs> Antidepressants Drugs that alter serotonin levels are used in treating depression, generalized anxiety disorder and social phobia. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors MAOIs prevent the breakdown of monoamine neurotransmitters including serotonin, and therefore increase concentrations of the neurotransmitter in the brain. MAOI therapy is associated with many adverse drug reactions, and patients are at risk of hypertensive emergency triggered by foods with high tyramine content, and certain drugs. Some drugs inhibit the reuptake of serotonin, making it stay in the synaptic cleft longer. The tricyclic antidepressants inhibit the reuptake of both serotonin and norepinephrine. The newer selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors have fewer side effects and fewer interactions with other drugs. Certain SSRI medications have been shown to lower serotonin levels below the baseline after chronic use, despite initial increases. The 5-HTTLPR gene codes for the number of serotonin transporters in the brain, with more serotonin transporters causing decreased duration and magnitude of serotonergic signaling. The 5-HTTLPR polymorphism L, L, causing more serotonin transporters to be formed is also found to be more resilient against depression and anxiety. <laughs> serotonin syndrome. Extremely high levels of serotonin can cause a condition known as serotonin syndrome, with toxic and potentially fatal effects. In practice, such toxic levels are essentially impossible to reach through an overdose of a single antidepressant drug, but require a combination of serotonergic agents, such as an SSRI with an MAOI. The intensity of the symptoms of serotonin syndrome vary over a wide spectrum, and the milder forms are seen even at non-toxic levels. Antiemetics Some 5-HT3 antagonists, such as ondansetron, granisetron, and tropocetron, are important antiemetic agents. They are particularly important in treating the nausea and vomiting that occur during anticancer chemotherapy using cytotoxic drugs. Another application is in the treatment of postoperative nausea and vomiting. Other Some serotonergic agonist drugs cause fibrosis anywhere in the body, particularly the syndrome of retroperitoneal fibrosis, as well as cardiac valve fibrosis. In the past, three groups of serotonergic drugs have been epidemiologically linked with these syndromes. These are the serotonergic vasoconstrictive antimigraine drugs ergotamine and methacegide, the serotonergic appetite suppressant drugs fenfluramine, chlorphentamine, and aminorex, and certain anti-Parkinsonian dopaminergic agonists, which also stimulate serotonergic 5-HT2B receptors. These include pergolide and cabagolin, but not the more dopamine-specific lysuride, as with fenfluramine. Some of these drugs have been withdrawn from the market after groups taking them showed a statistical increase of one or more of the side effects described. An example is pergolide. The drug was declining in use since it was reported in 2003 to be associated with cardiac fibrosis. Two independent studies published in the New England Journal of Medicine in January 2007 implicated pergolide, along with cabagolin, in causing valvular heart disease. 
As a result of this, the FDA removed pergolide from the United States market in March 2007. Since cabagolin is not approved in the United States for Parkinson's disease, but for hyperprolactinemia, the drug remains on the market. Treatment for hyperprolactinemia requires lower doses than that for Parkinson's disease, diminishing the risk of valvular heart disease. <laughs> Methyltryptamines and hallucinogens Several plants contain serotonin together with a family of related tryptamines that are methylated at the amino NH2 and O groups, are N-oxides, or miss the O group. These compounds do reach the brain, although some portion of them are metabolized by monoamine oxidase enzymes mainly MAO-A in the liver. Examples are plants from the genus Anodonanthera that are used in the hallucinogenic Yopo snuff. These compounds are widely present in the leaves of many plants, and may serve as deterrents for animal ingestion. Serotonin occurs in several mushrooms of the genus Panulus. <laughs> Comparative biology and evolution Unicellular <laughs> <laughs> organisms <laughs> 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 Serotonin is used by a variety of single-cell organisms for various purposes. SSRIs have been found to be toxic to algae. The gastrointestinal parasite Entamoeba histolytica secretes serotonin, causing a sustained secretory diarrhea in some people. Patients infected with E. histolytica have been found to have highly elevated serum serotonin levels, which return to normal following resolution of the infection. E. histolytica also responds to the presence of serotonin by becoming more virulent. This means serotonin secretion not only serves to increase the spread of antiamoebas by giving the host diarrhea but also serves to coordinate their behavior according to their population density, a phenomenon known as quorum sensing. Outside the gut of a host, there is nothing that the entoamoebas provoke to release serotonin, hence the serotonin concentration is very low. Low serotonin signals to the entoamoebas they are outside a host and they become less virulent to conserve energy. When they enter a new host, they multiply in the gut, and become more virulent as the enterochromophene cells get provoked by them and the serotonin concentration increases. Plants In drying seeds, serotonin production is a way to get rid of the buildup of poisonous ammonia. The ammonia is collected and placed in the indole part of L-tryptophan, which is then decarboxylated by tryptophan decarboxylase to give tryptamine, which is then hydroxylated by a cytochrome P450 monooxygenase, yielding serotonin. However, since serotonin is a major gastrointestinal tract modulator, it may be produced by plants in fruits as a way of speeding the passage of seeds through the digestive tract, in the same way as many well-known seed and fruit-associated laxatives. Serotonin is found in mushrooms, fruits and vegetables. The highest values of 25 to 400 mg per kilogram have been found in nuts of the walnut juglans and hickory genera. Serotonin concentrations of 3 to 30 mg per kilogram have been found in plantains, pineapples, banana, kiwifruit, plums, and tomatoes. Moderate levels from 0.1 to 3 mg per kilogram have been found in a wide range of tested vegetables. Serotonin is one compound of the poison contained in stinging nettles, Urtica dioica, where it causes pain on injection in the same manner as its presence in insect venoms. See below. It is also naturally found in Paramuricea clavata, or the Red Sea fan. Serotonin and tryptophan have been found in chocolate with varying cocoa contents. The highest serotonin content micrograms per gram was found in chocolate with 85% cocoa, and the highest tryptophan content to micrograms per gram was found in 70–85% cocoa. The intermediate in the synthesis from tryptophan to serotonin, 5-hydroxytryptophan, was not found. Invertebrates. Serotonin functions as a neurotransmitter in the nervous systems of most animals. 
For example, in the roundworm Chinohabditis elegans, which feeds on bacteria, serotonin is released as a signal in response to positive events, such as finding a new source of food or in male animals finding a female with which to mate. When a well-fed worm feels bacteria on its cuticle, dopamine is released, which slows it down. If it is starved, serotonin also is released, which slows the animal down further. This mechanism increases the amount of time animals spend in the presence of food. The released serotonin activates the muscles used for feeding, while octopamine suppresses them. Serotonin diffuses to serotonin-sensitive neurons, which control the animal's perception of nutrient availability. If lobsters are injected with serotonin, they behave like dominant individuals whereas octopamine causes subordinate behavior. Crayfish that is frightened may flip its tail to flee, and the effect of serotonin on this behavior depends largely on the animal's social status. Serotonin inhibits the fleeing reaction in subordinates, but enhances it in socially dominant or isolated individuals. The reason for this is social experience alters the proportion between serotonin receptors, 5-HT receptors that have opposing effects on the fight-or-flight response. The effect of 5-HT1 receptors predominates in subordinate animals, while 5-HT2 receptors predominates in dominance. Insects Serotonin is evolutionarily conserved and appears across the animal kingdom. It is seen in insect processes in roles similar to in the human central nervous system, such as memory, appetite, sleep, and behavior. Locust swarming is mediated by serotonin, by transforming social preference from aversion to a gregarious state that enables coherent groups. Learning in flies and honeybees is affected by the presence of serotonin. Insect 5-HT receptors have similar sequences to the vertebrate versions, but pharmacological differences have been seen. Invertebrate drug response has been far less characterized than mammalian pharmacology and the potential for species selective insecticides has been discussed. Wasps and hornets have serotonin in their venom, which causes pain and inflammation, as do scorpions. If flies are fed serotonin, they are more aggressive. Flies depleted of serotonin still exhibit aggression, but they do so much less frequently. Topic: <laughs> Growth and reproduction. In the nematode C. elegans, artificial depletion of serotonin or the increase of octopamine cues behavior typical of a low food environment, C. elegans becomes more active, and mating and egg laying are suppressed, while the opposite occurs if serotonin is increased or octopamine is decreased in this animal. Serotonin is necessary for normal nematode male mating behavior, and the inclination to leave food to search for a mate. The serotonergic signaling used to adapt the worm's behavior to fast changes in the environment affects insulin-like signaling and the TGF-beta signaling pathway, which control long-term adaption. In the fruit fly insulin both regulates blood sugar as well as acting as a growth factor. Thus, in the fruit fly, serotonergic neurons regulate the adult body size by affecting insulin secretion. Serotonin has also been identified as the trigger for swarm behavior in locusts. In humans, though insulin regulates blood sugar and IGF regulates growth, serotonin controls the release of both hormones, modulating insulin release from the beta cells in the pancreas through serotonylation of GTPASE signaling proteins. Exposure to SSRIs during pregnancy reduces fetal growth. Genetically altered C. elegans worms that lack serotonin have an increased reproductive lifespan, may become obese, and sometimes present with arrested development at a dormant larval state. Topic: <laughs> Aging and age-related phenotypes. Serotonin is known to regulate aging, learning and memory. The first evidence comes from the study of longevity in C. elegans. During early phase of aging, the level of serotonin increases, which alters locomotory behaviors and associative memory. The effect is restored by mutations and drugs including and that inhibit serotonin receptors. The observation does not contradict with the notion that the serotonin level goes down in mammals and humans, which is typically seen in late but not early phase of aging. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <inaudible> Biochemical mechanisms. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biosynthesis. In animals including humans, serotonin is synthesized from the amino acid L-tryptophan by a short metabolic pathway consisting of two enzymes, tryptophan hydroxylase TPH, and aromatic amino acid decarboxylase DDC, and the coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate. The TPH-mediated reaction is the rate-limiting step in the pathway. TPH has been shown to exist in two forms, TPH1, found in several tissues, and TPH2, which is a neuron-specific isoform. Serotonin can be synthesized from tryptophan in the lab using Aspergillus niger and Coprophila coprophylla as catalysts. The first phase to 5-hydroxytryptophan would require letting tryptophan sit in ethanol and water for seven days, then mixing in enough hydrogen chloride or other acid to bring the pH to 3, and then adding NaOH to make a pH of 13 for one hour. Aspergillus niger would be the catalyst for this first phase. The second phase to synthesizing tryptophan itself from the 5-hydroxytryptophan intermediate would require adding ethanol and water, and letting sit for 30 days this time. The next two steps would be the same as the first phase, adding hydrogen chloride to make the pH equals 3, and then adding NaOH to make the pH very basic at 13 for one hour. This phase uses the coprophylla coprophila as the catalyst for the reaction. Serotonin taken orally does not pass into the serotonergic pathways of the central nervous system, because it does not cross the blood-brain barrier. However, tryptophan and its metabolite 5-hydroxytryptophan 5-HTP, from which serotonin is synthesized, does cross the blood-brain barrier. These agents are available as dietary supplements, and may be effective serotonergic agents. One product of serotonin breakdown is 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid 5-HIAA, which is excreted in the urine. Serotonin and 5-HIAA are sometimes produced in excess amounts by certain tumors or cancers, and levels of these substances may be measured in the urine to test for these tumors. Topic. Effects of food content Consuming purified tryptophan increases brain serotonin whereas eating foods containing tryptophan does not. This is because the transport system which brings tryptophan across the blood-brain barrier is also selective for the other amino acids contained in protein sources. High plasma levels of other large neutral amino acids compete for transport and prevent the elevated plasma tryptophan from increasing serotonin synthesis. History and etymology In 1935, Italian Vittorio Erspamer showed an extract from enterochromaffin cells made intestines contract. Some believed it contained adrenaline, but two years later, Erspamer was able to show it was a previously unknown amine, which he named enteramine. In 1948, Maurice M. Rapport, Arda Green, and Irvin Page of the Cleveland Clinic discovered a vasoconstrictor substance in blood serum, and since it was a serum agent affecting vascular tone, they named it serotonin. In 1952, enteramine was shown to be the same substance as serotonin, and as the broad range of physiological roles was elucidated, the abbreviation 5-HT of the proper chemical name 5-hydroxytryptamine became the preferred name in the pharmacological field. Synonyms of serotonin include 5-hydroxytryptamine, thrombotin, enteramine, substance DS, and 3-beta-aminoethyl In 1953, Betty Tuorog and Page discovered serotonin in the central nervous system. Topic: See also Serotonergic HIOC equals equals notes <laughs>